So I am heading to the northern side of the wildlife refuge now, heading towards Mears, I'm going to the Parallel Forest. Uh, so the Parallel Forest is one of the more popular destinations here in the wildlife refuge because of the lure of paranormal and ghost stories and stuff like that. So uh, I personally haven't witnessed anything of the sort. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist, it just means I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm not allowed to be out here past dark, I like most places here in the wildlife refuge, except for some of the camping spots. But uh, Parallel Forest is pretty neat. It's actually the, one of the first places I came to in the refuge. We had a field trip out here when I was in second grade, and uh, I still remember like it was yesterday. But uh, yeah, these trees out here were planted back in uh, 1912. It's amazing. Out of all the fires and ice storms and all that stuff, they have managed to survive. They're pretty impressive. So they planted these trees six feet apart, and the entire plot itself is about 1,200 feet by 600. And the reason they did that, you know, planting them so close together, is that they wanted them to grow up instead of out. And the entire idea was to make timber for future park projects and stuff like that. Uh, so it was officially called the cedar planting, but like I said, everybody refers to it as the parallel forest. Every time I've gone here, I've got lost. I don't know what it is, I'm usually very good with my directions. I've got a very good sense of direction, but you know, I've had to have a GPS bail me out almost every time I've been here. So. I'm at the point now where I, I know where I'm going, so hopefully I won't run into that issue today. But uh, you know, like I was saying, they planted these trees you know, to use the timber for park projects and such, and it never happened. Uh, you know, it became part of the wildlife refuge, and they left the trees alone, and they're still here. So over 100 years old, going strong. some neat things to see here. Uh, used to do some gold mining here, so there's one of the Spanish arastras here. Alright. So there was a pretty big fire here a few years back. Just barely missed the parallel forest. You can see they kept it on that side of the road. Went along Mount Roosevelt and then Mount Sheridan and went over there and burned quite a few houses. It was a huge fire actually went north of the refuge and then came back around into the refuge over by Charon's Garden. All right, so here's the parallel forest. There are a lot of trails. We're going to be heading towards the northeast corner of it. That's where the Spanish Arrastra is at. There's actually a mine and it's just up ahead on the trail past that. So I'm going to go check that out as well. Now we did stumble upon a teepee one time here. I found it on accident when I was on my way to Wall Mountain. And then me and my kids came out here looking for it, couldn't find it. And then on the way out, we ran into it on accident. So not sure if it's still out here or not. As you can see, it's called the Parallel Forest for good reason. Pretty neat. I'm gonna go to the right. It's definitely not out of the ordinary to run into a buffalo or a longhorn in here. I have several times. See, like I was saying, it's very easy to get thrown off here with all the different trails. You can go so many different directions. This after about 
four tenths of a mile. It's not quite half a mile. You'll get out of the parallel forest and continue on the big the big trail. And Cedar Creek is just up ahead. Right before we get to Cedar Creek, we should find the Arastra. up to the Spanish Arastra. So this is one of three that's here in the Wichita Mountains. Uh, in addition to this one, uh, there's also one over by Panther Creek and the south central portion of the refuge. And there's another one that is north, uh, you know, in the restricted area. And I'm not sure if it actually, I think it straddles the restricted area in private property. So and no one ever makes it out to that one, obviously. But uh, Cedar Creek is right over here. So they used to use these for, you know, over a hundred years ago. Uh, there was a time where it was believed there was a lot of gold here in the mountains. And they would take, you know, bits of dirt and mud and rock and put it in here. And then they would break it up with horses or mules, whatever. Uh, you know, obviously there wasn't much of a gold rush. It didn't last long. They didn't find much out here. But uh, that's what this was used for. A lot of people like to say it's a satanic you know some type of table or something where they do sacrifices and I can't speak to that but uh this is Oklahoma I'd say anything's possible and here's Cedar Creek And Mount Sheridan right over there. That's a mountain I really wish I could climb, but half of it is on private property and half of it is in the restricted area, so that's a no-go. So if you go a little bit further back this way, and actually step out here and probably see Wall Mountain. Okay, there's Wall Mountain right there. It's a real long 2,000 foot peak. Uh, I've climbed that one before. Uh, but if you go that direction, you'll find a couple of mine shafts that they used uh, to take the dirt out of to check for gold and stuff like that. And, you know, they're, they were about 50 feet deep at one time, but now they have since been covered up over the years. People kicking dirt in and rocks and stuff like that. So but you can definitely tell what they were. All right, so we're going to head on out of here. Nothing else to see. If you ever want to see that mine shaft, it's about another quarter to half mile out on that trail. I'm not going to mess with it today. I don't know what that is. A bobcat, maybe? It's kind of big for a coyote. <laughs> that I found that teepee so I destroyed it of course because people can't just leave stuff alone don't I don't get it I don't know how it got there I don't know if some college class came out or Boy Scouts or what but it was pretty neat so there's Mount Roosevelt and Mount Sheridan's over there That's it for the parallel forest. And about a mile round trip. Another easy hike. <laughs>